Hello everybody, welcome back to part 18 of Let's Play Super Mario 64. Um, so yeah, I decided to go after the secret stars in this episode. We're just on the other side of where we were for Rainbow Ride. Uh, and you can tell this is the secret star one because there's light coming out from here. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do this since it was like right next to the other one. Uh, basically, it's another red coins one, just like pretty much they all are, with the exception of the slide. Uh, okay, I can go that way, so I will. So yeah, I don't really remember where all the stars are, but uh, I do remember that this star isn't too hard to, uh, to beat, so yeah. Anyway, if I finish these a little bit earlier than expected, then um, I'm probably going to just go right in- Whoa! That's not good. Right into the 100 coin stars, and I guess I'll do that right now, seeing as falling from there starts here right here. Actually, no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go get those stars that I didn't before. So, yeah, like the Jolly Roger one and whatnot. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Then I'll go back to the secret star in the third floor. So, yeah. Also, uh, I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, I did turn on my fan for my Wii because I realized it was getting a little hot. And I didn't want it to overheat and cut the footage off again. Like, uh, it seems to happen so often. So, yeah, I have it on the lowest setting. It's... Barely enough to keep it from overheating. Actually, it's just perfect. But it's also quiet enough where hopefully it isn't too noticeable in the recording. Anyway, regardless though, um, if you can hear it, I'm sorry. It's kind of a necessity. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, so here we are. We're going to be getting this star that I did not get last time. Because when I did go get this star, or try to get this star the first time, we didn't have the metal cap. And as you can probably guess, you need the metal cap to do it. But now we have the metal cap. Um, we're gonna have to do a bit of a race here, though. So yeah, we're gonna have to go pretty quick because the metal cap is all the way in here. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna. I probably should have aimed the other way. Anyway, so we're just gonna do some long jumps or something. That'll help us get there faster. Long jump. Here's the part that kills me, it's like so slow underwater. I kind of pick up some speed, but it still pales in comparison to the land speed. Anyway, it looks like we can get this. Yeah, just barely too, it's starting to run out. So yeah, finally we got that star, number 101. So yeah, through the jet stream, cool. Alright, now let's go ahead to the other secret star. Or not secret star, to the other mist star. Uh, which was uh, Big Boo's Haunt. And that was pretty much for the exact same reason as the um, as the other one that we just did because, you know, we didn't have the Vanish Cap this time instead of the Metal Cap though, but it's essentially the same thing. And anyway, we'll kill the ghost and enter Big Boo's Haunt for the last time. I eye in the secret room. This one's not too bad. So yeah, let's just uh, go ahead and hip hop. We're not hip hop. Just jump over to here All right if I can do it without hitting the wall every time there's a vanish cap right there I'm not sure if that's the one we need or if that's just a you know there so I think there's one up here oh there isn't oh dear well hey we'll just kill the, the boo first I guess these guys technically have the Vanish Cap all the time because they can just seemingly pass through that whenever they want. Is there another one? Ah, probably not. I mean, if there is, he's just not coming out. Anyway, uh, in that room, there's a giant Mr. Eye. And Mr. Eye is the enemy that is uh, just its a big eyeball that shoots stuff at you. Anyway, we'll kill that book so that it doesn't bother us. Although, now that I think about it, if we have the Vanish Cap... It shouldn't be able to bother us because we'll be invincible with it. Anyway, so we're gonna have to do a mad dash over there. So hopefully we can do it. Uh, oh dang, that probably ate up some time right there. The little cap animation that ate up a lot of time. I'll be right back. I'm sorry about this. All right, take two. Let's try again. Uh, hopefully. This time, we can uh, actually do it without perfectly failing. Cool, we skip the animation, we'll jump over that, and, uh, oh god, we're already wasting too much time. We'll jump quickly, come on, long jump! 
Oh boy. And we made it. Cool. And there's our giant Mr. Eye. He, uh, apparently doesn't see us. There, now he sees us. All we gotta... This Mr. Eye isn't particularly harder than the other ones. It's literally the exact same thing. It's just that his hitbox is bigger. And that's why I keep hitting him. But as you see, he spins and dies just the same. Even when he shrinks, he's still bigger than the regular Mr. Eye. But anyway, that's the last star for Big Boo's Haunt. So, yeah. Oh, shoot, yeah, I restarted the thing, so I don't know how much long. Oh, how much time we're in. And, uh, I forgot, yeah, I said for the last time we'd be entering Big Boo's Haunt, but I kind of forgot about the whole 100 coin star. And you're probably wondering why I'm not just going ahead and getting those out of the way right now. Uh, I just kind of like doing it this way, you know, getting all the stars first, and then doing the 100 coin stars all at, like, with the same go. Because, why not? But, yeah, um... This one I remember we couldn't get because um, we were doing Dire Dire Docks before we beat Bowser. And the thing is, um, before you beat Bowser in the Fire Sea, uh, Bowser's submarine is in Dire Dire Docks. But uh, when it, the submarine is there, the poles are not. And in order to do, well, pole jumping for red coins, you need the poles there. So yeah, without those poles, we uh, couldn't do that. But now the pole should be there, and Bowser's sub should also be gone. Or I guess Bowser's U-boat. <laughs> anyway. And as you see, yep, it's just kind of big and empty here, and there are the poles. So, yeah. I wonder, though, if that makes it like harder or easier now that the submarine is gone. Anyway, oh, we're supposed to go to that one over there. Can I make it, or did I screw up already? Uh, I know it. I probably already screwed up, so... Wait for them to disappear, and there we go. To be honest, I probably could have made it if I just went when I was questioning myself. Because these were out for a long time. Um, there we go. Which one to go for first? I'll say to go for these ones, because there's just three right there that just waiting to be taken, so... Yeah. Anyway... Alright. Ooh, okay. Uh... Oh, I see. Okay, I can- I see why now. So yeah, you do have to go the other way. I thought that was going to, like, end up where another pole was, but it, it didn't. It just kind of had a dead end. Cool, but anyway, I would just long jump over there, but then I'd, it would just pull me back over here anyway, so I might as well just get it while it's here. Right? I remember these, I thought these were, like, slippery or something, like, that you'd go onto them, and that, like, when you're grabbing onto them, you'd start sliding down. I don't know why I thought that. Did they do that in, like, the DS remake? I don't remember. Anyway, here we go. Pole jump. We're gonna have to do it again, it seems. Uh, okay. I'm not very good at those angled jumps. Alright, but hey, we can do... The, we don't lose too much progress for that. What did I even hit? I swear I did not hit anything. I mean, I guess Mario's Collision must have barely tapped the floor here, but... I mean, in all honesty, it did not look like I hit anything. Ah, oh, great. That's gonna make it a little bit more annoying to reach. Fortunately, like I said, these are out for a very long time, so... You can just kind of just stand there and wait for them to come back. I'll let, actually, I should probably jump now. Ah, I was hoping to get to the thing first. Anyway, so we do two pole jumps to these other poles, but you know what? In order to make it easier, I'm just gonna change the camera angle so that it's a little bit easier to make. Much better. Wow. Alright. Uh, was I supposed to go here? Looks like it, because there's a pole over there. And again, why did I do that? Because now I'm just here anyway, and I could have just jumped, and it would not have saved any time at all. Alright, I'll jump here though, because this is going to save time if I can do that quickly. But yeah. So, 
when I do these Let's Plays, I try to talk about what's going on in the game, but I also like to just talk about stuff that I do. Um, lately, uh, I think I mentioned that I played Fire Emblem uh, Path of Radiance like way back when we did the Jolly Roger Bay episode. And uh, I don't remember if I mentioned that I was playing Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn as well. Uh, or if I was planning to start it. But yeah, okay, we had that weird glitch happen. Also, the box came back. Woohoo. Anyway, um... But yeah, I finished Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn already, so... That's how much time has passed between, uh, the episodes. I actually, like, when I recorded the last episode... Or not the last one, uh, because I just did that, like, a few minutes ago before recording this one. But part 16, with TikTok Clock... Uh, I didn't even start Radiant Dawn yet, and now I already beat it, and apparently I took me, it took me like 44 hours to beat the game, like collectively, if you took all the time, like the save data said, uh, that it took me 44 hours to beat. And I don't, honestly, I don't like playing for like a huge amount of time at once. Like, don't get me wrong, I'll still play for a long time, but uh, oh, I hate timing that, Ooh, boy. So like I might do play for like at most three hours at a time, which is still a lot. But yeah, it took me the collective time was like a long, long time. And just to add on top of that, also why are these out of sync all of a sudden? I don't like that. I guess they're in sync, but oh god. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do a weird angle jump. Oh great. Well anyway, um, yeah. To, on top of uh, beating um. Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn, I also played and beat Link's Awakening for the Game Boy. Uh, so yeah, I kind of wanted to beat that game. I, I had plans to play it already because I recently decided that I wanted to play every Zelda game that's been made, with the exception of the spin-offs. I might want to play those, but for now I'm just going to stick to the main series games. And so yeah, I heard that it was a good game, so I wanted to play it. And I did, and then I also saw that the Link's Awakening trailer for, like, the remake for the Switch is coming out, and I wanted to beat it before I, uh, before that game came out, because I knew once that game came out, all sorts of people would be talking about it, and the thing that was cool about Link's Awakening is that no one really talks about it anymore, well, now they are, because of the remake, but for, like, that time, no one really talked about it anymore, because it was in the, it was made in the 90s, but, um... Yeah, um, I, that, because of that, I didn't get any spoilers. So yeah, I thought it was a really great game. And in case someone hasn't played it and they want to, like, maybe play the remake, uh, and they have not heard anything about the story, I won't say anything about it. Other than I thought it was a really good game. Even, since, even if it was a Game Boy game. Which, you know, like, Game Boy games don't have too much on them. But, you know, yeah. Anyway, I talked for long enough about Link's Awakening, I mean, I was just kind of bored, so, anyway, hopefully this time I actually make it to the island without touching the ground first, I'll do a bit of a higher jump that time so that that doesn't happen, and I probably messed up. Oh, I barely didn't mess up, okay, cool. Hi, right, I'll prepare the cannon for you. Yeah, I didn't want to jump too high because I knew that I would start going too fast, so yeah, I was kind of losing control there, but yeah. Anyway, so hopefully we do this without too much trouble. Um, is there like a 1-up on here? Yes, I knew there was like a 1-up. I probably should have gotten another wing cap first. Oh boy. Uh, I'll go to that one. Whoa. Okay, that's a... Uh, that's bad. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm running out of wing cap... Uh, running out of the wing cap right now. That's not good. Uh, I'll go to that central one over there. Oh boy, this is bad. Good thing it's not flashing yet. Then I know I'm in trouble. I guess like, you don't run out of wing cap, or like you, uh, the wing cap doesn't run out while you're using the um, a cannon. So yeah, that's nice. 
Alright, I'm just trying to angle this, but it doesn't look like the camera wants to be at a good angle. Oh, now it does. Okay, cool. Alright, cool. We'll just jump into that cannon. Alright. Uh, where? Where's the big island with the... Yeah, that's a big island, but where... Oh, that one. There, that's the one I was looking for. Alright, hopefully we can uh, just do this real nice and smooth. Nice. Apparently one of these clouds has a hangable ceiling on it, which is very interesting because you would not be able to legitimately be able to hang on the ceiling. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's too fast. Like, I think it's this ceiling, actually. Okay. And now we're stuck in a cloud. Anyway, yeah, I know a few things about Mario 64, but yeah. And I think there's a red coin. Yeah, okay. Can I even reach that? No, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna have to probably use a cannon to get that. That's a uh, one up or something. Where did the cannon go? Oh, there it is. Cool, and we will land right in it. So, looks like the episode's kind of pushing it a time right here. I don't know actually how long it's been, but uh, it's probably like around... I don't know, if I were to take a guess, maybe 15 minutes? Uh, let's get that coin. I think it's the last one. No, it's not the last one. Okay, well, that means... That leaves me with the question of where's the last red coin? It wouldn't be down there. Ooh, I thought we were in first person mode. It's not down there. Oh, it's down there. Okay, that's not too bad. Alright. Yeah. And here we are. Cool. Last coin. Nice. And there's our star. I can't wait to get that. And then uh, once we finish that... Uh, I think we would have had all the castle secret stars. But for some reason I still feel like there's more. Hmm. I don't know, I'll have to check that later. Um, where is the, which one's the island again? Shoot, I'll just shoot straight up. Okay, yeah, there it is. Can I make that? I think I can. Whoa! Whoa, oh my god. Oh, that's, that's so annoying. Alright, well, I'll have to come back to that one again. Man, that's, ah, uh, that's, that's horrible. Alright, finally got all the, uh, not stars, all the red coins. Um, now if I can just get back to the island without dying, or falling. Actually, I think that's worse than dying, because dying would just put me right over here, and I can just restart again. But I don't know, I have to go all the way back to the very top of the castle. I really hate it when uh, games do stuff like that. Oh, you messed up. Guess what? You gotta start all over. That's one thing I really hated about Zelda 2. But anyway, I think that's enough for this episode. Um, I think there's 15 secret stars, but I can't remember which ones. Hold up, okay, so there's gonna be 100 coins. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and well, there's 15 courses, right? Yeah, okay, so there's 15 courses. So, yeah, there's a um, secret star I'm missing. So. I. Uh, oh, that's right, okay, it's the Bowser star. Alright, so uh, I'm not missing anyone, it's the. It's the red coin star in uh, Bowser's. In Bowser in the sky, so I'm not missing any others. So, yeah, that's good. Alright, so. Yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this episode, um, yeah, hopefully it wasn't too bad. And if you like my videos, uh, be sure to check out my other Let's Plays as well, and, um, by the time you see this episode, it's going to, I'm going to have a completed list of the, or a complete playlist for Mario 64, so, yeah. Go ahead and check that out too if you want, I'll see you guys in the next episode, real shortly. Yeah, I also just want to thank you guys. If there are anyone, uh, if there's anyone out there that watches these, which, judging by the, you know, when I look on the stats on YouTube, is absolutely nobody, 
But hey, if there is that one random guy that actually watches this episode, or like just my videos in general, then you know, I'd like to thank you a lot for watching this, because even though it doesn't really look like it, I, I do try, and uh, I do really like when anyone like, you know, appreciates my work. Even if it's something like to critique it, you know, at least you actually bother to watch it, you know? But um, yeah, uh, that's all I wanted to say. But yeah, um, with that, I guess uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode, right?